Hey guys, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and I'm coming to you guys today with my Week 6 Team Builder video for the UBC. I am, of course, the coach of the Baltimore Oriolus, and this up, we're going against none other than my buddy, RG the Awesome, coach of the New York Metagross. Now, RG has had a little bit of a rough season. He's currently sitting at 1-4, and, and uh, he's had some bad luck in his losses. He's had a couple of... Uh, pretty painful misses with high jump kick and just some other unfortunate circumstances uh but he does find himself at the bottom of this league uh, i'm not i'm actually really scared of rg's team i think i might be more scared of rg's team than any other team that i've gone up against this season just because he has so much raw power on his team and while he doesn't have a ton of speed he does have shuckle which is going to be able to mitigate that if he can keep up webs and then you have Pokemon like Volcarona, which can Quiver Dance and get up to a pretty nice speed stat. So that's really scary for me. Uh, so yeah, the big things for me are going to be Metacham and Thunderous T are, are the two scariest mons. Manaphy is also incredibly scary. Uh, but the thing is, is that you just can't you can't prepare just for the the heavy hitters, the big offense, because he's got. A ridiculous core of Shuckle, Alamomola, and Amoongus, um, and I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against that while also preparing for Metacham and the like. Uh, so we've done the best we can, and uh, I'm going to go over the team right now. Uh, the first mon I think is my favorite mon. This is uh, the Gym Leader Geo Special Weakness Policy Entei with Sunny Day Eruption Solar Beam and Stone Edge, where max speed, max special attack, timid nature. So if we can get this in on something like Alamomola, or even uh, even Manaphy, to be honest, we have a good shot of, I think, taking out three or four Pokemon. I don't think that's an exaggeration. Uh, the idea is you get up the sunny day, and if you something like Alamomola goes for the Skull, just trying to get off damage, the damage is first of all reduced because of Sunny Day. Then it triggers the Weakness Policy. And you get a 2 times Special Attack boost. And we're able to crush everything with either Eruption or a Solar Beam. Uh, solar Beam should do... It should okay oh Alamomola. Truthfully, I don't think I've calced it for Manaphy. But I don't think, even if he's max speed... Or sorry, max uh, HP. He's going to live. I think I remember calcing it at one point or another. And then nothing on his team takes an eruption otherwise. His only fire resists are Manaphy and Alamomola. So th this is going to be probably the key to victory. Is being able to set up with this Entei. Get off the weakness policy boost. And, uh, and crushing from there. So in order to do that, keeping hazards off the field are going to be really important. Because we want this Entei to come in at nearly full health uh, we want to be able to come in at full speed and uh if we could do that then we just click eruptions sun boosted eruptions pretty tremendous sun boosted plus two eruption is pretty tremendous uh so i i i'm trying to decide if i should lead with this i don't think i want to because he's probably gonna if he brings shuckle he's gonna be leading shuckle um, and I don't want to get my weakness policy knocked off. If he doesn't bring Shuckle, then maybe we lead with Entei and we'll be alright. Uh, Stone Edge, I suppose I should mention, it's just on there for Volcarona. It does Oko. Uh, it might not Oko like a bold uh, max HP set, which I know RG is a fan of. But if we can just get off some damage with that, we can come in with Tom Selleck afterwards and Revenge Kill. Next up, we've got Bane. If he does bring Shuckle, I think this is the lead that I'm bringing. We have Stealth Rock, Taunt, Rock Slide, and Earth Power. So it's kind of a weird set, to be honest. Uh, but I do want to be able to prevent these Shuckle from getting up webs and anything else, getting up rocks. Uh, Earth Power hits pretty much everything on his team pretty well, except for the two flying types, Honchkrow and Thunderous. So that's what the Rock Slide is for. Uh, to be honest... Uh, Rock Slide also does more to Volcarona than Earth Power. Uh, that's probably an Oko, because it's sheer force boosted. 
life orb boosted. And not that we can really take a tremendous hit from Volcarona. In fact, why don't we do this? Just to increase the chances that maybe we live one Fire Blast or Fiery Dance. I feel like RG's not going to bring Fire Blast just because he doesn't like missing. Uh, I think Flamethrower or Fiery Dance is a little bit more likely. Most likely Flamethrower. But yeah, if we bring Shuckle, we lead Nidoking. We prevent the rocks from going up for at least a little bit. And then... We get up our own rocks, which is really important for Volcarona. It's really important for wearing down his other Pokemon, uh, mainly Thunderous, Haunchcrow, and uh, even the Regenerators, you know. If uh, every time that they switch switch in, if they take 12%, you know, that adds up over the course of the match, even if they're recovering back 33%, you know, it basically means that they're only coming back with 25% or 21% uh, every time. So that's a big difference. So Nidoking should be good. And, uh, yeah, mostly just trying to scare his team and, uh, prevent rocks and prevent webs. We're also bringing Tomahawk this week with kind of a weird set with Rock Slide, Aerial Ace, Dragon Pulse, Energy Ball. Uh, I wanted to bring Leaf Storm over Energy Ball just because it does so much to, uh, Manaphy and Alamomola. I think I will, honestly. Uh, I, you know, I, I didn't, the thing that, reason that I didn't want to bring it was because of the drop. Uh, the drop is, is pretty bad if I want to go for Dragon Pulse afterwards, because he doesn't have a Dragon Resist on his team, so having those full power Dragon Pulses is pretty nice. But, uh, you know, if I can kill one of those Mons, come back in and sack something, and then go back to a to, uh, Sceptile for the Dragon Pulse, that's what I'll do. That's better, just so I have a better chance of Okoing the Manaphy or the Alamomola. I think that's worth it. But yeah, anyway, Rock Slide is for Volk. Aerial Ace is for Amoongus. It's not going to Oko, but uh, it's the da it's the move that we have that's going to do the most damage. And if he is bringing Amoongus, it's probably going to be Spideth to take on this Sceptile. So in a, if we get it to like 50 or 60%, maybe we can start going for Aerial Ace. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, Dragon Pulse is just unresisted on my opponent's team. So yeah, the Sceptile, is, it's going to be important for also checking those water types. It's going to be important for checking Volcarona because we can outspeed if he doesn't have up a Quiver Dance. Um, I am going to have to be careful of Pokemon like Donphan because Donphan can do a tremendous amount with Ice Shard. So that's something that I'm definitely weary of. Uh, but yeah, Sceptile, if, if I get into a situation where his team's sufficiently weakened, I think the combination of like Aerial Ace and Dragon Pulse is going to be able to sweep his team be counting on that a lot this week so now we are bringing clefable with thunder wave encore soft boiled and moon blast uh <laughs> this is the closest thing that i have to a metacham check uh you'll notice i didn't really bring any defensive pokemon this week i pretty much just bought brought a straight offense uh because rather than trying to check metacham defensively i'm just gonna try and beat him offensively this is the strategy i should have taken against kahona in week one with uh, with his Charizard Y and his Darmanitan. It's really what I should have done. But um, we do have this, so that way maybe we can get off a Thunder Wave and then kill it with Moonblast. Uh, might be better off just going straight for Moonblast, because if he's packing something like Bullet Punch, we're not living the combination of Zen Headbutt and Bullet Punch. Actually, we should. I take that back. Because Zen does uh, 120 after Stab, and then... Bullet Punch only does 80, uh, even with the super effective coverage. So yeah, I think Thunder Wave is the move to go for. Uh, I do have Encore on this thing, so that we're not set up fodder for Manaphy and Volcarona. Soft Boil, obviously, for good recovery, and then Mood Blast just for Stab. Uh, and it's going to hit that Metacham and other stuff. So yeah, this, you know, it's the it's, it can take one hit from from Manaphy, it can, or sorry, from uh, Metacham, it probably can take, oh no, it probably can't take a plus three Scald from Manaphy. Maybe it can take one hit from Thunderous. But basically we're just trying to, uh, you know, use this as a pivot and uh, maybe get off a Thunder Wave on something like Metacham or Honchkrow. That would also be nice. Uh, you know, we're going to be taking a good bit of damage from Brave Bird, but if we can get off that Thunder Wave, then we can soft-boiled up until he gets fully paralyzed or something. 
Next up, we do have Tom Selleck, the Kadabra. This week, we're rocking uh, Focus Dash with Psy Shock, Energy Ball, Hidden Power Rock, and Protect. Uh, Psy Shock is just the, the move that we're going to use to hit Amoongus. Uh, it also is going to do re pre decently well against Volcarona if it is boosted. Otherwise, we can go for Hidden Power Rock. Uh, Energy Ball is going to be nice for the Water types. Uh, Hidden Power Rock also hits the Ice types pretty, or sorry, the, the Flying types pretty hard. So Thunderous and Honchkrow. I put Protect on here. I'm not really, I'm not really convinced that this is the best move. But my, my thinking is, if uh, if he comes in with Metacham, Metacham can easily kill with a combination of uh, Fake Out and Bullet Punch, uh, and we can't even get off a hit. So if needed, we can protect on the fake out and then get, uh, you know, the Psy Shock off. I, mean, I could be running Shadow Ball over Hidden Power Rock, but Shadow Ball truthfully doesn't do that much more damage. Uh, well, I guess it does. I don't know. I might end up taking it off. I just am weary of Volcarona, obviously. See, so, you know, actually, no, it makes more sense. Let's go for Shadow Ball. Because if the Volcarona is at plus one, Psy Shock's going to do more to it than uh, the four times super effective Hidden Power Rock. Uh, just because it's going to end up being so bulky on the special side. So yeah, Kadabra, it, it's kind of going gonna to be our panic button against something like Manaphy, against something like uh, Volcarona, or a Thunderous if it's Thunderous sets up a nasty plot. The real trouble is going to be if he has like... Um, if he has Agility Thunderous, that's really going to be bad. Uh, but I think our last member should be able to handle that a little bit. We do have a Life Orb Excadrill with Rapid Spin, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Sandstorm. Uh, so kind of like with Nidoqueen, or <laughs> Nidoqueen, uh, I, I have Nidoking. I don't have Nidoqueen in this league. Uh, kind of like with Nidoking, the ground rock coverage is really good against RG's team. He doesn't have a lot of ground weak mons necessarily, but he doesn't have many resists. He just has Honchkrow and Thunderous, which are both going to die to uh, Rock Slide. Uh, we put enough speed on here to outspeed the Jolly Honchkrow, and it is going to be outspeeding things like plus one Volcarona. It's going to be outspeeding uh, Choice Scarf, Thunderous T, the only thing that's going to be bad is if he has, like, um, Focus Blast Thunderous. Uh, then we can't really do anything to him. Like, Focus Blast Agility Thunderous is just probably going to 6-0 us. Yeah, but otherwise, uh, I think this will be another good potential cleanup mon. This and Sceptile are the two I'm going to be relying on for that. Um, one of the two is going to end up being used as a wall breaker. Um... Yeah, so I'm just hoping that this offensive team can both, uh, you know, handle the offensive threats that RG has and also the defensive threats. And <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about it. It just seems like a really big task. Like, you know, I, when I get into the, battle, to the battle, I'll be able to figure out one way or the other, you know, am I going to uh, need to use Sceptile to sweep or am I going to need to use Excadrill to sweep? It all depends on what mons he's bring. Right now, I'm just looking at his team of 11, and I'm just so scared. Uh, but he obviously he can't bring every threat. Uh, so I'll be able to evaluate my, my options once the game starts. And uh, we'll go from there. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, the battle's going to be going up tomorrow, so please be sure to be on the lookout for that. And uh, check back for more Pokemon content. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later.